Hello and welcome to Offstage, the new cable television show featuring local Detroit area bands, musicians, and today we're featuring an Ann Arbor based comedian slash entertainers, correct? Okay. And uh, today we have here with us Bill Barr right here and this is Bruno. Bruno, Bruno doesn't have a last name. If that suits him, that's just fine. Okay guys, tell me about yourself. How long uh, have both of you been uh, entertainers, comedians? Is this one of these kind of, you're just kind of born like it growing up and uh, just, or is this something just you wanted to do? Or tell me how you guys started. Just last Tuesday I started. Last Tuesday, yeah, okay. It was Wednesday for me. I've Wednesday. always been late, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. I was in the cereal aisle at Myers. A cereal aisle? Mm -hmm. Earlier you guys were telling me it was a shampoo aisle. Well, well, that's where we met. Oh, that's where you met, okay. Actually, I was looking for the free samples of shampoo <laughs> in the cereal boxes. Uh-huh, okay. I was picking up the pieces. All right. <laughs> Let's pick up the pieces over here. Okay, so let's see. Um, do you want a real okay, answer? you two have worked together for about two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there anything special about the way you grew up? Now, did you grow up together or separately, or are you related of any way? Your turn. Mary? Well, I grew up all in one piece. Uh huh. Okay. Put <laughs> together afterwards. All right. And how did you grow up? Same way. Same way. Yeah, okay. my my family was all nuts. Uh huh. I, nuts. I think everyone's family is. Like well, my I got I don't know I think <laughs> I inherited my comedy from my grandmother. Okay. Well, your gram you had a funny grandmother. What was so funny about her? She, uh, she, she was she would hit you with a line. I remember one time I was uh, out working my first real job. Uh huh. I was coming home for Thanksgiving dinner. I worked Thanksgiving. I was in a restaurant, and the whole family was there. Grandma's sitting at the end. She was about 92. And I got home and I walked in and everybody looked at me and she looked up and said, "You know what? You're the best looking bar in the whole family." Okay. And then she said, but of course my eyes aren't so good anymore. Okay. She used to do that to me all the time. <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah. As a matter of fact, she's a dear, sweet old woman. Uh huh. She is, she's, she, has the, quite she often has the wit. She has the wit. Well, I guess it's it's inherited through the uh, through the woman because uh, I got my comedy through through my mother's side of the family. All right. Okay. Umbilical cord kind of a thing. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, let's see. So, what kind of things do you two like to do? Um, what kind of clubs have you played at recently? What kind of things do you play at private parties? Are you playing at clubs? Um, let's see, recently I just saw you over at Chaplin's. That was a great, great show. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where else have you guys played? Oh, well, just about everywhere. Uh, separately and together. Uh, okay. We've been uh, probably just about every club in the state. Okay. And we were at uh, Gadzooks Comedy Club. Gadzooks, okay. It's, what the heck is that? White Lake? Uh, Waterford. Waterford? Waterford, yes. Okay. Waterford Township. On M59. So we're out there. Pretty much all around. Okay. Ann Arbor. We're out in Ann Arbor a lot. That's where we went. We worked there for about two years before mm -hmm. we went on the road at the Heidelberg. We, in fact, we got a show coming up there. All right. When is that? April? About 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. Wait a minute we now. <laughs> this is a half hour show. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. We'll probably yeah, take yeah. backwards and we'll be closer now. Okay, let's see. Speaking <laughs> of going backwards, um, well, let's go a little forwards instead. Um, let's see. You know, you were telling me earlier that you're, um, you're both unmarried and uh, yeah. one of you is our a daddy, correct? Okay. We're not sure which. <laughs> all right. Okay. She and has now blonde with, hair. It's awesome. Uh, uh, tell me, so what, is it funny being a dad? Is it rewarding? Uh, it's it different. What a perspective. What? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Quite often brings me to tears. Uh huh. I, <laughs> my, uh, I was, um, had big dreams. Uh huh. You know? Sure. Didn't you? <laughs> I still do, sure. Oh. <laughs> Jump with well, not at the end of my okay. career. <laughs> All right. Keep going. I had big dreams, and being a single parent, I'm a single dad. I've got uh -huh. a four and a half year old daughter. Uh -huh. And uh, it's hard, you know. I mean, I, I don't give up. Sure. You know, I, I, housework is last, <laughs> last on the list. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, and I wash dishes when I need a cup. Okay. Other than that. And what does your daughter do when she needs a cup? She's only four and a half. She tells me. Oh, I, oh, okay. <laughs> jump. She says, jump, daddy. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> she says, so I'm the so, boss. Let's see. So you're a single guy. So are there some uh, stories that you could tell about being a single guy out in that single world there? Oh, uh, I wash my cups. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah. It's, well, and it's, it's really easy to be single in this kind of business because yeah. it's um, really difficult to meet people on the same schedule, which I don't have one, basically. I'm either working or I'm not, and I have no idea what tomorrow is going to be. So 
it's tough. Okay. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh, in that case, I'm free. If anybody out there wants a date, call the number, bottom of your screen. Wait a minute. 1-800-COMEDIAN. <laughs> That's it. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Speaking of comedians and things, uh, so now tell me when, I'm going to ask each of you separately, when, when you're watching TV and you're watching these sitcoms that are out now, and some of them I personally, uh, you know, I, I don't really find the humor in them. There are some good ones out there, and there are some that are just, just absolutely kind of dumb, but <laughs> tell me, what kind of shows do you watch, and, and how are you looking at TV? You know, how do you think comedy has changed over the years? Because it really has changed a lot. Yeah, it's funny that uh, back when comedy started being really an art in itself, when Lenny Bruce was coming up, they called him a sick, sick comic. And all the stuff he talks about now is now on prime time. Oh, sure. You know, and the stuff they're talking about in uh, Cheers and some of those shows are right on prime time, and there he was getting prosecuted for it. Hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's talking about changed. Mm -hmm. That's bizarre how that has gone that way. It's changed dramatically. Now, do you have huh? some favorite shows, Bruno, that you watch? Uh, mine is still the traditional valued ones, the Three Stooges on uh, cartoons. Uh -huh. Okay, cartoons. That's what I like. Yeah. Cartoons. What kind of cartoons? Uh, Ninja. What are they called? Mutant. Oh, Mutant Ninja Mutant Turtles. It's like uh, uh, what is it? <laughs> Michelangelo did, like the pizza eating guys. No, not really. Uh, I like Bugs Bunny because there's a lot of, uh, the Warner Brothers cartoons had a lot of actual meanings and, and adult kind of humor behind it. Okay. So there was a, there was a multi-structured type show so everybody can get something out of it, which is what I like. Mm -hmm. Like the good old anvil in the head. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, um, blowing buildings up. Yes. Oh, I just got my Acme catalog, sure. too. Did you? Yeah. Uh, cool. So I got. The company actually exists. <laughs> the Acme, yes. Acme does. Mm -hmm. All right. You can get anything there. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's think of another subject. Uh, recently, uh, all right, uh, you're a single dad, and then we're all getting older here, and you kind of mentioned something about how you're kind of. Uh, you're not too happy about how you're growing older and your hair and things like this. What, what, what was that comment that you made earlier? That was supposed to be off the record. He's going bald, is what it is. <laughs> but stuck. it's cool because well, he's tall okay, and nobody I really noticed it. They can't see you know, okay. You can probably get All the right. glare off the top. I promise we'll edit this out of the tape, okay? It's not bad being <laughs> being bald. It's being short and bald that really because uh, yeah. everybody else knows it. Nobody knows till I bend down. Yeah. <laughs> the only people that know I'm bald are Japanese people. Yeah. Okay. Let me say hello. All right. Never mind. Okay. The, uh, now, I maintain my hair has been like that since I was four, you know, because I just changed the part. And uh, it was like that because when I was four, my sister convinced me to climb into a clothes chute. Uh -huh. And I went down three stories and took all the hair off the back of my head. Mm -hmm. And it's been like that since I was four. Okay. And have you, do you have any clothes chutes kind of stories? <laughs> <laughs> I usually keep them closed. <laughs> That's something that I would actually crawl into. Okay, um, all right, let's get, I wanted to get just on a little serious side here, kind of. Um, I want to know what kind of training and education have you had? I see, um, Bruno, you have written down here, you've played, uh, your education actually consists of the Attic Theater, the uh, Players Workshop shop of the Second City, um, you've played at radio stage, private clubs. Um, just how many years of training have you had? What, I mean, what, do you, what does someone actually do for for training to be an entertainer comedian. How do you do this? Well, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> check around the local papers. Usually, they have uh, information on how to get in things. Uh, magazines, I think, like uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the one with the the thick one that you find around here. Metro um, Times. Metro Times. Thank you. Yeah, Metro right Times. So we'll have Metro ads Times. in them. Uh, Attic Theater down in Detroit. Uh, check local theaters. Uh, they offer classes. Uh, they have like about six different classes or something. Mm -hmm. And that's it for Metro Detroit. If you want to do that, you have to go out to Chicago, which is where I go every week, mm -hmm. uh, to the Players Workshop of the Second City. It's a set of classes that you take, and then once you do that, then you can go to the Second City Training School, which is learning how to put up a show Second City style. Oh, that's interesting. He's been so doing that's that. Kind of what you I'm sorry, that's what you kind of recommend for someone who says, you know, a young person saying, I would just love to be a comedian, just get on stage. And would you recommend when they have like the amateur nights to actually get up there and do it, or do you think that would scare them so much it would shatter their dreams? Well, if it does, then they shouldn't do it. Really? Yeah, because yeah, you've got to have thick skin. 
Well, either that or find a different venue, because there's there's stage, uh, actual play type stuff that you, uh, you give you a script and you memorize it and you get up and do it, and that's one type of it. You can do uh, live TV or TV such as this where it's camera and there's nobody out there. So we're talking to you, hi, <laughs> but you're not here for us, you know, to get immediate stuff back, right. whereas if it was a stage, we'd be able to hear your thunderous laughter that you've been giving us <laughs> so generously, thank you very much, uh -huh. and or radio, which is you can just keep doing voiceover work over and over again. And each one is a different type of uh, style. Sure. So find which one suits you best. Sure. Okay. Yeah, he's been training in Second City for over a year. Oh, you know, okay. he's really on dedicated because it's Sunday that he goes. Oh. And like this week, we did a show on Saturday night. He got in the car, drove to Chicago, did the classes. <laughs> My and then, dedication. And then we had a show Sunday night. So he had to finish the class, and he, he, wa he washed in the sink. Yes, I, I took my shower in the sink well, we and, don't uh, really want to know about that. and and okay. slept in the uh, uh, airport road exit off Jackson Myers parking lot. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, that's you know it's hard because there's nothing around well, I here. I can imagine. Sure. We came back and did another show Sunday night. Sunday night after the benefit. Right. Yeah. On the road. On the road. Yeah. And, uh, okay. It, so what kind of a training have you had? Um, you know, do do you have any? Can you remember the very first time you were up on an actual stage? in front of an audience. Do you remember that very first time you've done that? Well, I don't know it was the first time. I think the first 10 or 15 are the same to me. They all run into each other because I was petrified. I, was, I couldn't <laughs> even talk. You okay. know, I, the first time I went, I had, they, they told me on the phone I could do 11 minutes. Okay. You know, and I have a problem with scripts, so I had memorized 11 minutes, start okay. to finish. Oh, no. Okay. You know, and I was ready, and I <laughs> got ready to go on. They told me I had five, all I could do was five minutes. Uh -huh. And I, I blundered through doing half, oh, no. <laughs> half of bits and punchlines and sure. got to the end. I was so scared, I forgot my name. <laughs> well, comedians at the end, they say, thanks a lot, good night. I'm... And that was the only laugh I got the whole night. Oh, so, no. <laughs> you know, and, okay. a, and, a, and another time, I, just before I went on, Bruce Baum, who's a big national comic, he does Baby Man, he was on Make Me Laugh. Okay. He went on just before me, did 30 minutes, and uh, actually two or three people coughed up a lung, they were laughing so hard, and then they said, oh, oh and here's Bill Barr, his second time. <laughs> and people went. Well, isn't that the time when you like get your family and friends to come to the show and hand up big applause signs? And, no, they're terrible. You know, family and friends are family terrible. Family and friends yeah, are terrible audience. They've seen us all their lives, all our lives, which so they don't comes think first. you're very <laughs> funny anymore. And we're talking about them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's not get into that. Okay, um, I understand that you two have an improv for us. Um, would yeah. you like to uh, do a little performance yeah. for us here? And, yeah. and let the audience know exactly how good you guys are. Well, we'll let them know now. We're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute, and we'll be back in a minute for the improv of Bill Barr and Bruno. Thank you. You're nobody till somebody loves you. You're nobody till somebody cares. You're always a somebody to a new pet from the Humane Society. And no matter who you are, there's one waiting just for you. You're nobody till somebody loves you. So find yourself somebody to love. Let a pet touch your heart. Adopt from your local Humane Society. Hello and welcome back to Offstage. Today we're featuring two entertainers slash comedians. Uh, we've got Bill Barr here and we have Bruno. Uh, we're at the second segment of the show and we're going to have them do an improv for us. Uh, first of all, guys, I'd like you to tell everybody what does it actually mean when a comedian is going to do an improv, okay? Well, to do improv, you just create things right off the top of your heads using real specific roles or scenes. All right. So, audience, I'd like you to know that uh, what they're going to do has not been planned. I know nothing about what's going on here. So uh, this should be quite interesting. And we shall watch someone do, and uh, let's see, an improv. Okay, so you ready? So let's see, now I'm supposed to tell you. Well, what um, we need from you is uh, uh -huh. we need a, a setting, non-geographical setting. A setting. Okay, let's... Uh, Okay, let's say you guys are at a library. A library, okay. A library. Oh, you've got a okay, list. Okay, I've got the words that I'm going to say. It's just right. a list of words. That's okay. a list of emotions or ways you could feel. Okay? okay. And we'll change the content of the scene to whatever emotion you yell out. Okay, great. Okay. So let's get going here. Here we are at the okay, library. Okay, we're at the library. 
Hi there, my name is uh, Huey, Huey Dewey, here to put uh, those little dots in all your books, sir. You gonna put these dots in the book? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put, I got my paper. Okay, right then here. we have to put them up here on the shelf. Sad, sad. No, not on the shelf. No, it's a broken shelf, isn't it? That's a terrible shelf. Oh, you? man, look at, I need a longer pen if I was gonna put them up there. Well, let me get this dictionary. Happy, happy. Oh, I can reach the dictionary. <laughs> oh, look, I'm going to put dots all over there. Oh, that's cool. Smile, like yeah, let me put that up there. Here's another one. <laughs> give me a dot right there. Cool. I like that. All right, you got to take okay, care of Okay, let's, say, let's say you guys are at an ice cream parlor, and the word we're going to use now is irritated at an ice cream parlor. Can you believe this? I thought this was a library. <laughs> what happened? Where am I going to put my dots now? <laughs> yeah. What's the dictionary doing up there? It's awfully cold up here. I need a double dip. <laughs> Let's look it up. Okay, under D. Double uh, dip for D. Put a dot there. Board. Board. Oh. No, I want to look up more exciting words than that. Yeah. Look at this one. <laughs> if we said this, we'd be arrested. <laughs> oh, look, I'll put a dot right there. So oh, that's good. Later. You know what? Hmm. Let's have her uh, make a strawberry shake for us. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'll put my pen back away and, uh, gee, I'll just open Re that up myself. School cool. in there. Here's one there. For some vanilla. Do you like vanilla? Yeah. Put some right on there. Oh, okay, I we're back at the library and you guys are frustrated. I was going to have a snack, but I better get that dictionary back. <laughs> well, shoot, I'll tell you what, why don't we open up these breadboards right on this little card rack here and All right. make myself a sandwich. Here. You're having a sandwich? Mm hmm. I found that in the ass. Cool. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, we can you get some lettuce out of this. Uh, Oh, look, it's a book about produce. I like that. All right. Put that right on there. You need and some fish? Yeah. Look under pH. Uh, I was, got hooked on phonics a little while ago. Yeah, yeah that sounds cool. great. That sounds great. Now, let's see. Well, we can Disgusted. Oh, that's old fish. Yeah, yeah. that's bad fish. Oh. I'll tell you what, why don't we just... Let me get the fan down. Like, oh, yeah. Pull it that way into the, <laughs> into the magazine section. Fish be gone. You know, oh, look. look. Fish fly. <laughs> Look, Look at it way far away. It's a micro excited. fish. Excited. <laughs> oh, it's gone. I'm excited now. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. We're going to get in the Book of World Records over here. Look, Look at, at that. It's Look a flying fish. In. Yeah. Look at that. We got 22 yards. Put a, a red dot on that one. On a cod. <laughs> I think that was. A cod? Yeah, Spell that. Cod. Uh, K O D. Two D's. K O D D? D D. Oh, I'm about to put another dot on that, though. Okay. Confused. Why? Well, no, I don't know. If it's, is it a big, two big D's or one big D and a small D? How about let's just hit it with a fish? <laughs> Holy mackerel! <laughs> Look at that. Well, I always like press fish myself. <laughs> I'll have that one for lunch later. Here's a guitar. Ooh, look at this. You need to tune it. I Never need mind. to tune a fish, huh? Yeah. <laughs> fish tuners. <laughs> I can play the scales on this baby. Go for it, man. <laughs> boom, 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 Lock boom, it boom, 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 Ooh. Disappointed. That's terrible. That's, yeah. That's horrible. I, I, I guess it was perched on the shelf a little too long. Yeah. It went on yeah. a tuna. Oh, well, I'll get rid of that guitar. <coughs> as a matter of fact, make something run up my spine when you do that. No. You know, as a matter of fact, okay. what we're going to do is we're, we're, we're going to get back to put our dots in here. Can we get the card? Insecure. No, I, I can't do it. I don't know if we should, because, you know, it's a permanent marker. And yeah. If we do anything like that, it's... I don't know. They're going to be mad at us. Can there somebody could help us with this? Oh, my brain. Where's the left brain? I can ring a bell. Uh, stupid. <laughs> what do we need her for? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm just, you know what? I, I forgot know. to wear underwear today. <laughs> You're kidding. Uh, I just thought of that. <laughs> I'm going to ring the bell. <laughs> You're not wearing underwear. It, buddy. God. <laughs> I'm going to put on my hat. But I'm like this. Last one. P.M.S. Is it hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you know, I was just thinking about the same thing myself. But I forgot what it was. <laughs> Who are you anyway? You know, you're kind of cute. I don't think so. Oh. My mother told me to be guys like you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come on back in here. Alrighty, so that was an introduction to improv. And I say that was pretty darn funny. Uh, thanks, know. thanks. <laughs> We can do another one. We can do another one if you want. All okay. you have to do is yell freeze. Freeze? A little faster than you yell the emotions, but okay. uh, yell yeah. freeze right. okay. and we'll <laughs> stop. Let's try another improv here. Ready? Okay. All right. Anytime you want, All right. and we'll okay. start. Freeze.
Uh, sure, I'll try some of that summer sausage. You didn't oh, have to taste, trace me all the way down the mall. <laughs> yes, actually, it's, it's a Freeze. brand new Kowalski. Ooh, look what I almost stepped in. <laughs> Ooh, look, it's a pillow. Oh. Freeze. Well, I was thinking about taking the screwdriver and tightening your belly back, back up. There's oh, hurry up, it's about it's to fall screen. out. Man, that was a good shot with a javelin. <laughs> you like that? Gosh. Freeze. We're very ready for that. Oh, I'm, a, I'm ashamed to say I have an innie look. <laughs> Freeze. Hello, Horatio? <laughs> Quit, you're talking on my umbilical cord. <laughs> well, Freeze. in that case, I'll... <laughs> this is not how you do the high five. It's up here. Oh, well, Freeze. how about a low five? <laughs> it's uh, actually macrame fingers. Wow. Yes, yeah, so the, the new kind of nails are Lee Press on Macrame Freeze. fingers. You're going on a trip. Okay. And you're going to die there. Oh, no. Can I go on another trip? Your turn. Well, actually, what I was thinking about doing was having uh, this thumb put over on that side well, so I'll I'll get the hitchhike it. the other way. Oh, that's so nice of you asked me to go to the prom with you. Well, I'm glad you said yes because I wouldn't have to stab you with this knife. Praise. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi. Hey, is the video cam working yet? Hi, Mom. Hey. Wow, this is the longest nose I've ever seen. <laughs> they call me Pinocchio. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> oh, Mo! Back, 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 back. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> that purple heart you got in Mom. I gotta tell you, from the entire country, I wanna thank you very much. It's very, very good of you to go, to go there. Thank you. You guys got a bum rap. Freeze. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm using this urinal. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, uh, just let me know when you're done. I'm going to change the mint. Yeah, yeah. Mint? like the speckled Freeze, guys. one. Oh, that's the last time I ever drink Southern Comfort. Where'd you get the pretzels from? <laughs> oh, ones that's in the there. guy from down Freeze. here in the bar. Ooh, the Statue of Liberty's over there. The Eiffel Tower's over here. It's a small world, isn't it? Praise. Yeah, that's your mom, and she's not with your dad. Uh-oh. <laughs> she must be shopping for his birthday coming up next week. Well, I'm going to throw Freeze. this... <laughs> Pie in your face. That's right. And hit you with a bat. <laughs> We're going to be the greatest clones ever. Yeah. Pie in your face. We killed our producer, face. though. Freeze. Oh. Well, now we are here today to, to bury a pizza. Sausage with pepperonis. Okay, guys, let's take a temporary permanent freeze here. That was great. That was really great. That seems like it's something that's very difficult to do. I know I surely wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> sure you would. <laughs> yeah, if I went to... A couple uh, of hundred shows, and it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, right. That was really great. And uh, nice. so I hope that he, you guys got a lot of laughs out there in the audience. Uh, see, we don't have an audience here. And, uh, so but, 911 uh, for that plus, oxygen tank plus, nearest plus. you. It was very funny. Um, so tell me, uh, do you guys uh, have any dates set for where you'll be playing again soon? Or do oh. you know where you'll be playing? The only ones. The closest one in this area yeah. is probably uh, April the 3rd in Ann Arbor. In Ann Arbor? At the Heidelberg. When's the airing okay. of the show? Is it before April? Where, what day are, are we on? Okay. What day is it today? Today is, uh, today today is Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> Tuesday. Cool. In that case, yes. Okay. April the 3rd, Heidelberg. You want the phone number? Great. What is the phone number? You call 995-8888. Uh -huh. Alrighty. 995? 995-8888. Those were not A's, were they? Those were, yeah, I kept the phone. Oh, I see. I'm looking from the other way. Okay. How did you do that again? 995. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to kind of wrap it up tonight uh, for Offstage. It's a show featuring Detroit area bands, musicians, comedians, and entertainers. And uh, uh, very funny people here. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoy the show. Um, if there's anyone out there who happens to be a band, musician, comedian, entertainer, feel free to give us a call to the station or write to us, and we'd love to have you come on the show. And thank you for joining us, and we hope that you'll watch us again. Bye-bye now. <laughs>